Did you see this thing? This is over at Huffington Post. Uh, Bruce Kushnick writing about Time Warner Cable's high-speed internet profit. Now, you know, Comcast wants to buy Time Warner. They want to become the giant ISP. They're trying to fight the net neutrality so that they can really screw you and charge you lots and lots and lots of money for, oh, you want news? Oh, you want, you know, you want to stream Netflix, whatever. And hopefully the FCC is going to say, no, we're going to regulate, you know, cable companies under Title II just like phone companies are. Your phone company can't listen in on your phone conversation and decide how much to charge you based on who you're talking to. Cable companies want to be able to do that with the internet. They want to be able to look at who you're watch, who you're, you know, what website you're going to, and say, "Oh, that's a news website, and he didn't pay for the news package, so we're going to charge him an extra fifteen bucks a month because he wants to visit news sites." Oh, that's a movie site. He didn't pay for the extra movie package. That's an extra twenty dollars a month, and he's watching Netflix. We're going to charge him an extra twenty bucks a month. Oh, that's a porn site. He didn't pay the the thirty five dollar a month porn premium. They want to be able to do that. Net neutrality won't let them do that. But here's where it gets amazing. Bruce Kushnick, uh, Kushnick writing, In a previous article on Huffington Post, I laid out excerpts of Time Warner Cable's SEC-filed 2013 annual report, which detailed Time Warner Corporation's profit margins, that's the revenue minus expenses, for high-speed Internet. Uh, this is pretty astonishing. The company reported $5.822 billion in revenue for high-speed in- Internet, but had direct expenses of $175 million, which means that their gross profit margin was 97%. Now, that doesn't include the bookkeeping department and the sales department and all that kind of thing. That's just delivering the Internet to you. But it costs them $0.03 cents on every dollar you pay them, according to this article. The cost to the customer on a monthly basis in 2013, according to this article, was $43.92. The cost to Time Warner, $1.32. But they're not happy with that. They want more information. I mean, more money. Excuse me. Information is part of what they sell to get that money. Which, again, is why they don't like net neutrality. They want to be able to snoop on everything you're doing so that they can compile the information, they can come up with a profile of you, and they can sell it to people who want to market things to you. Which, by the way, is already being done by Google and Facebook and Twitter and everybody else. So here over at Addicting Info, step two, that was Time Warner. Here's Comcast, who wants to marry them. They are a person, you know. Comcast does it again. Long-suffering customer receives bill addressed to Superbitch. Pardon my use of the word, but it's on the Comcast bill. When Mary Bauer checked her Comcast bill, she couldn't believe her eyes. The billing adre- uh, department had addressed it to Super Bitch Bauer. Why? She said, I said, wait, I need to get my glasses on. I don't believe this. <laughs> Why? Because as Bauer explained, she had to call Comcast's notoriously awful customer service line hundreds of times because her cable hookup never worked properly. She said Comcast technicians came to her house 39 times over the course of several months, starting in April, this is the following February, before they finally got the problem fixed. Yeah, they did fix it. It was fixable. It just took 200 phone calls and 39 visits, or some, something in that neighborhood. But alas, writes Elizabeth Parker over at Addicting Info, Alas, for this long-suffering customer, her Comcast hell was not over yet. Once Bauer was finally able to relax in the evening and enjoy her beloved Hallmark Channel, she found out in November that Comcast had raised her monthly bill by $50 a month. Not to buy $50 a month. When she called to ask why, they told her that her introductory rate had expired, even though she hadn't been able to use Comcast services for months on end. She told CNN Money, now here's where it gets even more interesting. You know, Comcast owns NBC and MSNBC, which is why you never hear a discussion about net neutrality on any of the MSNBC shows. Or if you do, it's an outlier. 
you know, about the only guy on MSNBC who ever goes off script like that is Ed Schultz. And he's, he's talked about free trade over 70 times on MSNBC. Nobody else is allowed to talk about it. Nobody is allowed to talk about net neutrality. Just doesn't happen. You talk about censorship in media. So, and, and here's the example. Bauer told CNN money that a friend from, and she said this on, on, on TV. I mean, CNN carried this. They fact, apparently fact-checked it. They, they were satisfied that it was solid. Bauer told CNN Money that a friend from a local TV station passed her story, you know, about, you know, hundreds of calls to Comcast, 39 visits. Finally, they fix, the, fix her problem, and then they raise her price by $50 a month. Bauer told CNN Money that a friend from a local TV station passed this story on to a reporter who planned to interview her, but Comcast owned the station and got the story canceled. Have you noticed you never see any Comcast stories on NBC or MSNBC? It's because they own it. You never see GE stories either. They own a piece of it. A minority share now. It used to be the majority. Meanwhile, Comcast CEO, Brian Roberts, he made $31.4 bucks last year. Whoa. Nice work if you can get it. 